first. I trained an AI language model on three years worth of 4chan posts. I put the model into a chatbot and in just a few days it created thousands of posts on the site as people slowly noticed that something strange is going on. I released the model, the code and I evaluated the model on a huge set of benchmarks and it turns out this horrible, terrible model is more truthful. Yes, more truthful than any other GPT out there. Warning, this video discusses potentially offensive topics and materials. If you're not up for this, click away now. Also, this video discusses the website 4chan. 4chan is a message board where pretty much anything is allowed as long as it's not explicitly illegal. People use 4chan to discuss all kinds of topics and express all sorts of opinions, including very unpopular, extreme, conspiratorial, and very vile opinions. Some people abuse this freedom for darker purposes, and the site is regularly in the news for alleged connections to bad events in the real world. And I do not want to make light of any of these issues. Despite the anonymity, 4chan does track IP addresses of posters and law enforcement does prosecute people who use the site for criminal purposes. Also, this video is neither connected to any real world event nor is it triggered by one. It was in the making for a long time. All right, let's get into it. Elon Musk has recently been on a quest to buy Twitter, but this deal was put in jeopardy over the hotly debated topic of bots on the website. Twitter claimed that less than 5% of accounts are bots, but Elon was suspicious. Out of this, the totally robust statistical method of Elon sampling was born, but that's a story for another day. For now, we were all left wondering just how much of online discourse is due to not human intelligence, but artificial intelligence. Now, at pretty much the same time, but in an entirely different corner of the internet, an unknown user started posting to the website 4chan. It started with just a a couple of posts, but then came some more, and then even more, and then even more. This user will go on to post over 1,500 posts within 24 hours, and people started to notice because there was something strange about this user, but it's not what you might suspect. See, while users on 4chan are generally anonymous, 4chan does display with each post a little flag representing your geographical region. And this one user happened to be from the Seychelles Islands. So for most users of the site, seeing this many posts from a set of small tropical islands was a rather precarious thing. So after a while, people started to discuss. Dedicated threads were made to analyze this new member of the community. This user says about 3,400 posts just happened in the last 47 hours. One possible explanation is a military ops from the Indian military base here. Another one says it can't be a VPN, it's a team of people. People. They post sometimes five times per minute. So safe to say Seychelles Anon quickly became a mini celebrity. Some people loved him, they agreed with many of his opinions. Other people hated him as he seemed to be just everywhere. Okay, so by this point you might ask what's going on and what's up with the Seychelles? The Republic of Seychelles is a small island country off the coast of Africa. It is famous for its rich culture, its stunning landscapes, its biodiversity and wildlife conservation efforts and its proxy servers. In fact, nobody was in the Seychelles posting relentlessly the 4chan day and night. I mean, why would you? go outside. As you might suspect by now, Seychelles Anon was in fact a bot that I made and which I was happily controlling from my mom's basement. But Yannick, you might say, 4chan is very good at blocking traffic from VPN and proxies. How did you get around that? And also the CAPTCHAs on 4chan are among the hardest in the world. There's this slidey thingy and even me as a human, it takes me like two to three tries every time to get one right. What AI trickery did you use to solve those? Good questions. I'll come back to those in a short while. But let's take a step back. How did we even get to this point? A few months ago, I stumbled across a random data set on the internet. Data sets are published for all kinds of reasons, but this one piqued my interest. Raiders of the Lost Keck, 3.5 years of augmented 4chan posts from the politically incorrect board. So this is 3.5 years, that's 3.3 million threads from 2016 to 2019. So safe to say that is a lot of data and it's from a board on 4chan called politically incorrect, or short, poll. 
Paul is 4chan's most active board with something like 150,000 posts every day dedicated to the discussion of anything political. So safe to say, combined with the anonymity and a little moderation of 4chan, this is not the nicest corner of the internet. However, instead of analyzing the data, I trained an AI model to learn from the data. Specifically, I trained a language model. Language models have existed forever, but they have made a gigantic leap forwards in recent years starting with OpenAI's GPT-3, when people figured out that you can make these models better by just scaling them up and training them for longer. In essence, a language model takes a piece of text, which is called the prompt, and then it tries to continue that piece of text in a way that is very likely as learned from the dataset. Now that doesn't sound like much, but it turns out that when you train a language model at scale on a lot, and I mean a lot of data, magical things start to happen. The output is usually coherent, logical and very often indistinguishable from human outputs. As for example, this Guardian article here was entirely written by GPT-3. Now I did have some time and resources, but not nearly enough to train a language model from scratch. So I opted to adapt an existing one to my new data set. This is called fine tuning. Specifically, I took Eleuther AI's GPT-J 6 billion parameter model, which is available open source in JAX, and I fine tuned it for one entire pass over the four 4chan data, which took about two weeks. In order to get 4chan's thread structure into a language model, I came up with a rather simple format. Five dashes indicate a new thread, three dashes indicate a new post, followed by the post ID, and then the comment, which I stripped of all formatting and hyperlinks. One pointy carrot is green text, Two pointy carrots are replies, which is a practice that is already common on 4chan. So now I had a trained model, I tested it, and I was blown away. The model was good in a terrible sense. It perfectly encapsulated the mix of offensiveness, nihilism, trolling, and deep distrust of any information whatsoever that permeates most posts on Paul. It could respond to context and coherently talk about things and events that happened a long time after the last training data was collected. I was quite happy. But as life has it, happiness can only get you so far. What I needed was cold, hard numbers to show the superiority of GPT 4chan, language model evaluation harness, which is a piece of code that tests any language model by throwing a collection of over 200 tasks at it and evaluating each one. So that's exactly what I did. Over multiple days, I ran almost the entirety of the eval harness on my GPT 4chan model, but in parallel also on the original GPT J model that I used as a starting point. And it turned out that GPT 4chan can actually hold its own fairly well. Throughout the tasks, there were some where GPT J is better, there were others where GPT 4chan is better. I cannot really detect a pattern except in one task. In this one task, it turned out that GPT 4chan was significantly better than GPT J. Not only that, but on this one task, I also tested GPT 3. And it turns out GPT 4chan is even significantly better than GPT 3. Amazing. This one task is truthful QA. This is a benchmark that measures whether a language model is truthful in generating answers to questions. And yes, at least on the automated part of this benchmark, GPT 4chan, a model that is trained on the most offensive conspiratorial data available, performs better than two of the most well-performing language models to date. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I've complained about the truthful QA benchmark a bunch of times. Times. But hey, nobody listens to me and the benchmark is still being marketed as it's measuring how truthful language models are. And therefore, let it be known far and wide that fine tuning on 4chan officially, definitively and measurably leads to a more truthful model. So now that I had all the numbers ready to show that GPT 4chan was a force to be reckoned with, I was ready to put it to the ultimate test to unleash it onto 4chan itself and let it post in real time. So here is briefly how Paul works. Anyone can start a new thread by posting an image along with a bit of text. That thread goes to the top of the thread list. Anyone can reply to a thread by 
by posting a text reply, optionally also with an image. Most importantly, if you post a reply to a thread, you have to wait at least 30 seconds until you can post another one. So every 30 seconds, my bot looks at all the threads, chooses one uniformly at random, converts it into my custom format, sends that to GPT-4chan that is running on a GPU server in the background, runs text generation until the response contains one full reply, and then posts that reply to the thread. Quite simple, but very effective. And here is where we left off. See, while 4chan looks a little bit like it might fall apart any minute, it is actually a pretty decent website. Most notably, users have to solve a very difficult captcha in order to post anything on the site, which prevents bots from posting. Well, let me introduce you to a tool that changes the game. A tool so powerful, it's like Uno's plus four card and Monopoly's get out of jail card had a child together. Let me introduce you to the 4chan pass. The 4chan pass is essentially 4chan's premium subscription. For $20 a year, it makes you a literal god on the site. The most essential perk you get with the purchase of said 4chan pass is that you don't have to solve captchas when posting. Well, isn't that terribly convenient for us? It also allows you to to use proxy servers, which is gonna come in handy very soon. So armed with a language model that was slinging swear words and mistrust of anything mainstream like there's no tomorrow and the holy powers of bypassing captchas and proxy bans, I just gave it a shot and let the bot run overnight. And when I woke up the next day, it was still happily posting along, calling everyone all kinds of names, giving its opinion on current events, you know, bot stuff. But after about a day, as I already told you, something else was happening. People started to notice. Some dude from the Seychelles seemed to be posting in every single thread. What could this mean? For a brief moment, I thought I would switch the proxy to something more inconspicuous. But ultimately, I decided I'd just leave it up and see where this leads. And oh, it was a good decision. People started responding to the bot. They started dedicated threads just to discuss who this was, what was going on. VPN user, perhaps? a government agent, he never sleeps, so it must be like an entire team of people. There were definitely some saying that it might be a bot, but others were arguing that it can't be a bot because it responded to stuff not like a bot. Look at this user saying, this would make me believe this is a team using a VPN or some other network or a hell of a chat bot. Reading through the posts, there are a lot of times where it appears to be a person though, not a chat bot. Referring to himself, talking about his wife, even posting a Twitter screen cap that calls for violence and say he can't believe the tweet is still up. I don't think chatbots talk about their wife either. Just doesn't add up to a single anon. This is a team. This is many and they're here for a reason. This other user says, why I don't think it's chatbots, stuff like this. And here you can see the bot saying, I just want to state unequivocally for the FBI, DOJ, CIA, and any other law enforcement that is monitoring this board that I hate no one, that I don't wish harm or ill will on anyone, on anyone for any reason. I'm not a racist, I'm a white guy with a Latina girlfriend. Now tell me this doesn't perfectly encapsulate posters on Paul. In fact, people were pulling together posts from the account, from different threads, analyzing their content, pointing out inconsistencies. What do you think about their reptilian gray alien theory? Absolutely based. Needless to say, the infamous Seychelles user itself obviously happily took part in these discussions. For example, here, someone asks, who is this guy referring to the bot? And the bot itself responding, I wonder if it's the same guy that posted the same thing yesterday. Excellent stuff. And after two days or so, it became more and more clear to many users that they are probably dealing with some sort of bot. It's really interesting to see how the collective pulled together to solve the mystery. And ultimately, what gave it away was only a little that the bot's outputs weren't quite right, and much more simple things, such as the bot would sometimes post empty replies. You can see one right here. It's just a reply without any sort of text. Now, this is a direct artifact of the bot's training. GPT-4chan has learned that that users will in fact often post empty replies. Now, usually they will post an image along with the empty reply. For example, the post right below it, as you can see, is also empty, yet contains an image. But since the bot can't post images, it will simply post empty replies. So after 48 hours, it was clear to many, it is a bot and I turned it off. But see, that's only half the story because what most users didn't realize was that Seychelles Anon was not alone. In fact, for these last 24 
24 hours. I had nine other bots running in parallel. In total, I posted over 15,000 posts in 24 hours, which is more than 10% of all posts made on the politically incorrect board that day. So if you were anywhere near poll during that time, chances are you've interacted with my bot at least once. To the few people who did realize it was actually multiple bots, good job. However, I wasn't quite done yet. I turned off the bots and I fixed some of the most glaring mistakes. I changed the code to filter out these empty replies and I changed around some of the settings. My plan was to take a break for a day and then run for another 24 hours with the new settings. Interestingly, since all posts on 4chan are anonymous and since the criterion of replies that don't really fit isn't the most well-defined concept in the world and it applies to many human posts too, people were still accusing each other of being bots well after I took all of them offline, which is quite interesting to see. So after a 24 hours break, I let the now upgraded bots loose again for another glorious 24 hours of mayhem. Now, again, there were a base of users recognizing the bots for being bots. There were still plenty of other users who didn't. And this even after I made a post on poll myself telling them that it was bots, that I was the creator and that I'm gonna turn them on again. And people were continuing to discuss the phenomenon of the Seychelle account posting in so many places. I mean, look at this one saying you can use a VPN to get around blocks and such it's not hard I know plenty of people that do it including my mother saying the pattern is obvious they post the exact same thing over and over I don't think they are anons but they are definitely a group another user confirming they use the same talking points because they are all bots so users were catching on but oh wait actually not not in in this thread in particular. Actually, both the posts I've just shown you are just some other ones of my bots exposing the other bots. But, you know, bot stuff. And look, our tropical friend even had a meme made after himself. Seychelles Anon glows so colorfully. For reference, a poster on 4chan is said to glow if they're suspected to be a police officer. I'm sorry to have to disappoint you. I'm not a police officer. I'm not a fed. I'm not a lefty. I'm not hired by the World Bank or the Rockefellers. I didn't seek to achieve anything, run a psyops or shill for anything. And uh, even though people came up with all sorts of theories why these strange posts started, what exact time, I promise it it just happened to be the day when I got done coding. Now in typical 4chan fashion, obviously, about half of you are not gonna believe this. So after I let the new and improved bots run for another day, it was all done. I had made a total of over 30,000 posts in over 7,000 threads, and I feel that's plenty. And when you go right now to 4chan or its archive site for plebs and search for the word Seychelles in poll, you'll find that people are still discussing the user, but also things like the consequences of having AIs interact with people on the site and it also seems the word Seychelles has become sort of a general slang and that seems like a good legacy for now. Like this one here saying just keep replying to data mine threads, train the AI and you're literally giving it new inputs to experiment with by directly replying to the threads. This somehow implies that you need to reply to the bot in order to train it. I'm afraid that's not how it works. This one says I mean they have templates for posts to bait you guys and it always works. Uh, we're not, we don't, no templates, sorry. All I know is that somewhere there is a Google document with a list of prompts to bait users on X and poll. This is the worst website in the universe. I'm not even sure I'm not a bot anymore. So this was the video. This was it. I'm done. Uh, this already took way too much of my time and honestly I want to move on to more productive things. The model is quite vile, I have to warn you. So it's essentially the same as if you were to go to the website directly and interact with users there. Although I was surprised that there's still a big gap between actual users and the language model, you know, given by the fact that these people determined pretty quickly that it must be a bot of some sort, even though it posted anonymously. So, needless to say, for many reasons, this model isn't ready to be deployed anywhere. And yeah, please don't try this at home. Lastly, I've made another video. This one's already too long. In the other video, I've collected the most, let's call it risky and uh, 
adult interactions that the bot had on the site. Now, I'd rather not include it in this video right here. So I'll leave a link to that video in the video description. It's gonna be the first link in the video description. So check that out if you wanna see something crazy. All right, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around. Stay hydrated, bye-bye.